Hi guys, Creative Lori here. How are you? Excuse the way I look. Um, I am not feeling good today, but if you're new to my channel, hello, I am a home stager and welcome to everybody. Um, I do have a, I had a huge haul. I had it break it up into two because it is just way too big. And the good thing is I have some pieces, I'm looking at it right over here, that I will be sharing in my next haul for next Tuesday Thrift Lines um, that are meant for a subscriber who's coming to meet me and we're gonna be doing some stuff together. Um, she posed a question on one of my videos and I thought, oh my gosh, it'd be great. And she's gonna be in town, so perfect. So I'm so excited. Um, but let's get started with the biggest piece. This is what I wanted to talk to you guys about because even though I don't feel good, like I couldn't wait to show you guys this, this clock. Um, I can't wait to get started on it because I'm not gonna leave it the way it is, but it's metal. It's really big, as you can see. Um, it's like a slate green and faux copper with copper accents and then Roman numerals, which I love. Now I was gonna buy a big disc, like this size, um, wood disc uh, clock from like Hobby Lobby with the Roman numerals that looked aged and everything. And then when I went to Goodwill the other day, I found this one and the best part was it was only $6, you probably can't see it, $6.20. That's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna get closer so I can talk to you guys about it. I just want you to be able to hear. Okay, so it did have some like corrosion um, in the back where the battery goes. So I called my dad and he said, yeah, just get a Q-tip, put gloves on and get a Q-tip and clean the back with um, the Q-tip. And then once you get everything out, dry it out with like a tissue and then put everything into the glove and throw it away, which I did. And then I put in a one AA battery that it took and it works and it, it keeps great time. So I'm so excited because I am redoing my um, my living room. You guys haven't seen it, but I am redoing it. Um, and I haven't showed you much of it because there's so much clutter in there, I feel like. Um, I have these two huge Pottery Barn rattan or their seagrass um, woven chairs I've had for years and I'm getting rid of them. I haven't staged them yet. I haven't taken pictures, post them, nothing. But once I do, you know, it'll look better in there and everything will have more space. But in the meantime, that clock is going on this niche wall that is an inset and it's I painted it a dark chocolate espresso brown, which goes great with the, the velvet drapes that I have. But now that I, I recently had my walls painted to a medium gray, it's just too dark in there. And so I'm going to change that niche and the one that's on the opposite wall, they're both the same color, to like a putty color. So a very lighter version of you know, even the wall color because that that room does not get very much light. It gets morning light and that's it. So that will help lighten it up. Okay, on to the next thing. So my next video, guys, by the way, will be that clock, how I paint it white, and then I'm going to sand it and I'll show you. I'll even show you before I paint the walls. I mean, I, I just want to show you. So excuse my hair and my makeup. I couldn't even wear contacts today. Ugh. My eyes are so itchy. I don't know if I have a bug. I don't know if it's my allergies. It's probably allergies, but. Okay guys, look at these. These are cute little faux tobacco baskets. Um, they are in the shape of a fish, or I guess they could be in the shape of a tulip. <laughs> and um, these will be great for staging, but I also thought of using them for me. Um, above my cabinets because my cats are jumping up there all the time and that's why I put that galvanized bucket up there gosh I can't there we go right there um, because my cats are jumping in that corner cabinet and they're starting to scratch my cabinet a little bit they usually stay to these cabinets over here but lately they're wanting to enjoy that those as well 
So I thought about decorating the top of my cabinet. Now I have had them decorated before and I don't like it as much. I feel like it's too cluttered looking and um, we'll see. I'm not sure yet, but these were only $1.19 each. So I felt like I couldn't lose much, you know, and I could use them for work, for staging. So, um, I was excited about that so that was fine and the next thing I'm going to show you is this little light wood utensil caddy if you guys watched two videos ago you would have seen that I used it on um, how to stage your table and use it at the same time um, caddies are great for that and light wood is really come back in the last several years you know, especially for modern settings, which I do a lot of modern too. And it has three utensil holders, um, compartments for forks, spoons, knives, and then one for like maybe napkins or even like a little, um, uh, you know, like a vase with flowers. And it was only two nineteen, and it was originally only five ninety nine. Um, but it was never used. You can clearly tell. And it was from this store called Didi's. I've never been there, but I've heard good things about it. So it's bamboo. I love the light wood. And I do a lot of modern houses as well. So this was perfect. And then, going with the light wood theme, I got this. This is more farmhouse-y. And I can use this for staging and or for me. <laughs> it was $1.19. And I love the handle. And the patina on it and that had like a little bit of a little metal um, hook on it and so I think it's meant to like also crush herbs or something but it'll go great in a container and I am always running short of these and I'm tired of just using the same fork and spoon and spatula combo so it's nice to throw something like this in that's a little different so I'm glad I got that and um, you probably saw this in my last or two videos ago. I used this in um, one of the tablescapes. It's just a nice wood bowl. Um, and it's really meant to keep at your stove, probably. Um, you put your like your sea salt and your pepper in it, mix it, or just sea salt. And then you just pinch it and put it into the dish that you're working on. Um, and it was only 49 cents. So I used it in a different way. I put greenery in it and then a, a bulb or like a container of succulents on top of it. That looked really cute. Then, okay, I'll show you this next. <laughs> this is really kind of for staging and for me. Um, it's white ceramic. I don't know if you could tell. It's a piece of corn. I don't know if you could see the detail. But, um, sorry, I'm having to pause because my cat is crying. But it has like all the detail of the kernels. I, I know the lighting is bad. And then the leaf at the top. And um, it was 69 cents. It's crazy. Now, summer to me, it says corn, watermelon, um, barbecues, red, white, and blue and um, stars, you know, that kind of thing. And so this summer, I love dining al fresco. I love picnics, all of these things. So this is right up my alley. I just love it. And for 69 cents, it's so cute. I know it's meant for like a cob of corn, but being single, yeah, that would be perfect for me. Or, um, cause I like eating those um, cobs of corn where you put like, um, uh, how the Mexican market sell it. I, I make it the same way where they put like mayonnaise on it, then their cheese, a fresco cheese on it, paprika, chili powder, salt and garlic on it. Oh my God, it's so good, you guys. You want to eat like three of them. So this is good for staging too. And it actually looked cute in the caddy. So I hope you can see this. I don't know if the camera is positioned very well. Okay, that's better. So then the next thing is um, <laughs> this. I think this is so cute. It's just a little creamer um, 
container and it says cream on it. I am not into Ray Dunn. I don't like how the lines of the um, lettering is squiggly. I like very simple lettering like that and that's so cute. It looks like a little open container of milk and it was from Crate and Barrel and it was 99 cents. And I do have a friend that comes to visit me um, and she loves half and half. So I'll put half and half in here, keep it in the fridge and when she's ready in the morning to pull it out, she can. The next thing is, uh-oh, those are going to fall, is this cutting board. I really like that it had the leather little tassel or holder on top. I love the shape of it. I love the patina on it. Um, so I will use it for staging, but uh, for now I will use it for me. <laughs> it did have this sweet little design on the back. It's not my style, but it, it's like burned on and painted and it was 219 but turning it over um, I thought of putting some cutting boards on the top of those cabinets to also keep my cats away they're driving me crazy all right um the next thing are these cute little ramekins I got four of them they're perfect for Easter um they're, I haven't washed them guys, so I was waiting to show you all. But um, normally when I get them, they would say, you know, Pier 1 or something. So these are probably older and um, they're perfect for Easter because I thought they kind of look like eggs. And so I can do like a cream custard in them or a little display in them. And they were only 49 cents. So I got four of them. I know I only have three out here, but I did get four. Then this, I love this. This is so cute. Oh, I love it. I already started decorating it. It's from Crate and Barrel, which I love. And um, there we go. It's a salt keeper. So it opens up and you put your, you know, whatever salt you like in here by your stove. And then it closes shut, which for me is a great uh, idea because I have cats. So I just started decorating it because I have it in a little display of mine. I just put like this little lace um, over it. Oh, and I had hot glued it, but I think I just undid the hot glue, which is okay. Anyways, it was $1.19. I guarantee you this was probably like at least $9.99. $12.99 at Crate and Barrel. So I'm so glad to have found that. I love it. And I'll show you guys like, um, <laughs> I'll show you my spring home tour because um, I have so much that I've done recently. I can't wait to show you guys. And so, um, yeah. So I have all of this. The next video that I do will be showing you that clock because I'm going to paint it white and I can't wait. Last thing is this galvanized bucket and you guys can get these at Dollar Tree, but I like that it didn't have any wording on it and it was 99 cents. It was from flowers.com. So it obviously had like florals in it. And um, I'll definitely use this in my home staging for when I do patio settings and I'll put some wild flowers in it um, to put on the patio or the porch, one of the two. So that is it guys. I hope I didn't ramble too much. <laughs> I know I look horrible today, but you know, I just don't feel good. But um, I, I couldn't wait to show you the clock because I am going to paint it today and I will do my next video as that so you can see it because I'm so excited. It's really big. It was super cheap. It works and um, basically had good bones. So I'm just going to paint it cream. All right, guys, if you like this video, like and subscribe, share it with somebody or if not maybe this video, but if you like any of my videos, um, like my staging video, how I got started, share that with somebody who you might think um, would like to get started in staging because I literally did it on a shoestring budget. So, and I've been doing it now for almost 14 years. So it's been lucrative for me, flexible. So for all of you stay at home moms, it could work out for you. So give it a try. Um, look at the video 
and I'll make more videos as we go along. Thanks guys. Bye.